Hey, you can see I'm out and about today, and uh, I'm going to do this video on uh, one of my favorite subjects, food. I don't know about you, but one of the things I like um, the best about the outdoors is, um, you know, the experience of sitting around the fire with, uh, whether it's by myself or friends or family or whatever, and, uh, you know, just digging into a nice, hot, good meal after spending all the energy all day out hiking, climbing, exploring, uh, just playing, you know, uh, seems to enhance the experience for me. Uh, both things actually, you know, makes my outdoor experience uh, that much better and uh, it makes the eating experience that much better. Uh, I'm sure you guys have all noticed that food tastes about a hundred times better when it's cooked over a fire and definitely tastes a lot better. Um, you know, after you've been out playing all day and you're starving. So anyway, I'm going to show you uh, one of my tricks for doing that today. And it's going to be centered around baking of all things. Um, I guess more specifically, it's uh, Dutch oven cooking of a sort. So I'm going to show you how I do that. And, uh, you know, maybe it's something you can apply to your uh, arsenal. So you can see I got a good uh, bed of coals going here getting that ready and uh, what I do is just kind of make a separate area off the fire and um, what you can see down in there is I got these uh, stones laying the bottom the reason for this is uh, twofold uh, one I, I got some pretty wet ground some moist ground down here and uh, that kind of helps the coals you know from uh, going out and also what it does is it helps retain heat um, once that once that uh you know i put lay some coals down there so um you know a lot of the wood i use um doesn't last too long it's not like uh using coals or uh, charcoal for a regular dutch oven cooking but um anyway so i got these coals going here and what i'll do is once i get some good coals going i'll transfer a good bed of them uh down on top of those uh pebbles and uh um go from there um, you can see my little cook pot. Now this will work with uh, pretty much any any uh, cook pot you got, as long as it's got a metal lid, of course. And uh, this is just a simple little, I guess the Boy Scout type mess tins. Um, you know, pot out of there. Um, it's a decent size one. So um, anyway, it works with pretty much anything though. Just a simple aluminum little pot here. And uh, some of the foods that I do this with, like I said, it's anything you can bake at home. You can do up here. And I've got my, uh, you know, some chocolate chip muffins there. Those cook up pretty good. Some banana nut muffins or bread. Um, do a little bit of biscuits. You can go with some biscuits and gravy. That's always really good for uh, either dinner or breakfast. Um, you know, breakfast especially. Um, and then, you know, if you want to get a little more elaborate, you can, uh, what I'm going to show you today is the uh, chocolate chip muffins here and like i said if you want to get a little more elaborate you can uh, spread toppings on that what i'm going to do is i, I got some chocolate um justin's uh it's an organic peanut butter uh, a good friend of mine sent me so i'll uh, once i get those muffins cooked i'll spread a layer of that on top of them mix it up really good i don't know if you can see in here but i um, got a little bit of uh, chocolate and uh, like i said on that too once the muffins are about done you know, I'll spread a few of those, let those melt, so you get a nice, good uh, topping. So uh, it makes a really good dessert, really good treat um, on the trail. So that's the one I'm going to be showing you. But like I said, it works with pretty much anything that you can bake. And um, one of the key components of this, to keeping it simple for backpacking, is I choose the things, you know, that just add water. You know, I keep it real simple. These are all, all like that, simply add water. Um, you know, the gravy, there's tons of stuff like this out there. Um, just be careful when you're picking that out. A lot of it you have to carry an egg or some oil or something like that and that's just way too much trouble. Um, typically what I'll do on a backpacking trip is take these out of the uh, um, container if it's a several day trip and weight and packability is a factor. If not, I'll just keep them in there. Um, they're good for uh, just mixing right in the package. I'll tell her tear the top off and just go ahead and mix right in there and uh, pour it into the container. So. I will get these coals transferred over and uh, show you how to get this mixed up and get it cooking. Okay, so I've got a good bed of coals going over here and uh, got my stuff mixed up. I just mixed it up right in the package here. 
And you want to get this fairly runny consistency. It makes for us nice uh, fluffy light muffins. And uh, so what I'll do is transfer it to the pot. And I don't know if you can see in here, but I've got this coated. And uh, this is one little trick. You don't want to be packing, uh, you know, if you don't want to pack oils or anything. Just pack a little bit of uh, butter from, uh, you know, wherever this one happens to be from a certain establishment. But uh, it's just a little packet of butter. So it works great for carrying a long backpack. You know, have to keep refrigerated and won't uh, let your stuff stick in here. So um, go ahead and just get this poured in here. Squeeze it out. Okay, so you can see I've got it uh, in here, I've got the pan coated, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and set this right on the coals in those hot pebbles. And take the lid and just uh, get it on there and what I do is just take a piece of bark or something like that and go over to the uh, fire that's the important part you want most of your heat on the top um, that's why I went with those pebbles and only a little bit of coals on the bottom if you put too much heat on the bottom you're gonna end up uh, you know with uh, burnt or blackened uh, muffins or whatever you're you know cooking up here and then you want, like I said, a good amount of uh, coals, a good amount of heat on the top here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get it, pile this on here really good. And uh, there we go. Now, a uh, way to tell that these are going to be about done is when these coals start turning to ash. This is a pretty good indicator. It should be about 10-15 uh, minutes or so. So we'll let that cook up and um, then we'll show you what we got. Okay, so these have been on here a little while now. So I'm going to go ahead and get the coals off. And uh, see here. Kind of blow them off there. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, they look perfectly done to me. So what I'll do now is spread a little bit of um, topping on here. And uh, like I said, I'm going to try this uh, Justin's Chocolate Almond Butter for this one. And uh, yeah. look at that. There we go. Got that spread on there. Mm. Can't want the Justin to go to waste, sorry. So I'll just get whatever's left out of here. Mm. Good stuff. I'm going to take a little bit of these uh, chocolate pieces that I have here. It's just some dark chocolate. And uh, go ahead and just lay out a couple, a couple of these guys on here. And we'll go ahead and put the lid back on. And I'll stick a couple more coals on there, let that cook up for just a couple more minutes to melt the chocolate, and we'll see what we got. Okay. These, uh, these ashes off here one more time. Everything should be melted and good to go. Put that over here. Oh yeah, that's looking good. All right. Well, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, that's gonna be good. I'm gonna cut this up here and dig into it and uh, see how it tastes. All right. Well, it's time for the taste test now. Just uh, pot still a little bit hot here, but that's all good up here and uh stuff out of the way. Mm. 
know if you can see that or not, but uh, perfectly, perfectly done. And uh, even these muffins taste uh, better over the fire than they do at home. So here we go. Wow. Oh, now that's dessert right there. Oh boy. Nice and fluffy, perfectly done. Mm. Mm. Wow. I'm gonna show you this. Mm. Look at this in here. That's some good stuff. I don't care who you are. Mm. Wow. Mm. Okay. Maybe a little bit overindulgent, but I do not care. This is a uh, definitely a treat on the trail. Definitely. And it's simple too. Man, what I'll typically do if I'm by myself, you know, if we've just had a big meal, can't polish this whole thing off, is uh, and this makes a really good breakfast too. You know, some nice, uh, good uh, chocolate muffins in the morning, get your blood going, get some energy in you. Mmm. Wish you guys could taste this, man. That's all I can say. Wish you could taste it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this one. Uh, hope you give this a try sometime. And uh, see you around on the next one. I'm going to keep munching out here.